Welcome to Technical Drawing. Today we are going to draw this sum in oblique. If you see, they have given front view and right hand side view. See this. Length is 60 and width is 40. So first I will draw box where I will draw front view. See this. Length is 60. Origin is here, height is 60, so first you draw box, then we'll take a receding angle 45 degree, we can take 30 degree also if it is given in the question, we take width 40. Now after drawing this box, we'll see front view. In front view, you may see this slope. So whenever you come across slope, see this is 1, 2, 3 and 4 part. Inside you, 1 and A and B, 2 part. So it makes sense to draw side view. But if you see here, see this is straight. And this is slope. So whenever you come across slope, you should draw that slope first. Always remember, whenever you have slope, so what I'm doing, I'm marking center point and I'm taking 20-20, drawing that slope and assuming that that slope is through and through. Even if it is not there, see this, I'm assuming that this is through and through in the sense, see this, how much is this? 30, 40 minus 10, 30. So you take all these points behind by 30. So we are done with this slope. Now what we need to do, see the height. If you see in front view, see this slope is done, right? If you see this height, how much it is? 30. So we take 30, we draw a horizontal line. And now we'll take this line behind. How much behind? 20. See, I will mark 20 up also and I will join this. This part. Now we'll extend this and we'll draw horizontal line from here. From here also horizontal line. See this. So this is what we got. A part A. Right? So we are done with part A and same way part 2 and part 3 also partially now what we need to do we need to take center point and take radius 20 
Now after this, you take this point behind. Let's say this is point P. You go behind by how much? 10. This is point Q. So this is how it will appear. Now we'll see the upper one. Take center point S. And from S you draw radius 10. So in this also we are doing the same thing what we did down PQ. From S we will draw radius and we'll take that point behind by 20. Like in previous case, we went behind by 10 and we drew the same circle. In this also, we'll do the same thing. After drawing the semicircle from point S, take that point S behind by 20. We'll take the this line also behind by 20. This is T. Okay. After that, we need to draw this line dark. See this part. That is from here. And it will be on the other side also. This will be dark, this will be dark, same way these two will be also dark. Then join straight line, we will get that part, part 4. Now draw the remaining line dark. Then we can do dimensioning and labeling. Thank you.